Uh, this is what a letter of map amendment actually looks like. So when you're through the whole process and a revision, um, this is what you're looking like. So if you look at the one on the right, the amendment, when an amendment's complete, what you're looking for here is um, the uh, outcome with the structure. And you want to see where it's been moved, the structure from uh, AE to X. So that's how you know that it's been approved. Um, this, so that's how a letter of map amendment looks on FEMA's website. Now what's important is let's say your customer does one of these and they sell their house, someone goes to buy this house down the street, these amendments will always be on FEMA's website. So you could go back 10 years later and find any amendment that's ever been done. Same thing like with a revision. It's always going to be on their FEMA map service website. It may take you a while to find it if there's been a lot done. Um, like you saw on the previous page, I mean, we've seen it. It's not uncommon to see 100 of them when you put in one address because it's looking at the whole neighborhood. Um, so these are what revisions and flood map amendments look like. Um, these can be really important too because, you know, customer gets delayed because they didn't know flood insurance was required. So finding one of these could benefit them on the loan or getting them to the lender. Uh, showing them where they've been done, or we you know, the big common thing we happen is, I'm buying a house, but the map amendment, I've already submitted it, but it's gonna be approved in like a month, two months. The time frame to get these approved normally, pre-COVID, was 30 days. So I tell people now about 60 to 90 days. If we get it done in 30 days, great. And doing these amendments, so we're gonna show you some of the documents you're gonna need uh, when doing them, when we walk you through actually how to do them.